do you lift weights? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> How was the off season for you? <laughs> it was, it was Packed great. a little on. Yeah, I did. Got to put on a little bit of weight. Um, it was a great off season. Worked hard in the weight room. Worked hard uh, during spring ball and everything. And it's coming along. It's starting to show out here. Eight starts last year. Six one two thirty two is what you're listed at. Six you two. seem to have. What's that? I say six two. Six two. Give it a little inch. We'll, t- we'll talk to Bobby and build yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. Six two. We'll call two forty. Fast two forty. Two thirty. Six two two thirty. We'll get it right. You seem to have settled in into the linebacker spot. You switched around for a few years. You were at nickel at one point, mm-hmm. right next to Peyton, and now you're directing the defense, and you're right back there in a the comfort zone, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's uh, good. This is my first time actually playing the same position in two consecutive camps. So right. Must, good to... must in, That in and of itself is kind of bizarre. Yeah. It must yeah. feel good. Yeah, it does. Um, your father wrestled here. He did. Are wrestlers as tough as linebackers? Uh, or are linebackers tougher? Than, what, what's the deal there? Uh, I'm required to say tough wrestlers are tougher than, <laughs> than any football player. Um, <laughs> no, that sport is insane. Uh, that's why I played basketball. Um, but, yeah, they, I got a lot of respect for wrestlers. That sport is, uh, takes a lot. Did you did you grow up? Did you wrestle a little bit? I did. I did as a kid, um, like first grade or so. Um, then I started playing basketball and then tried again in middle school and decided I would stick to basketball. Did you ever break any like living room tables, mess double leg takedown with your uh, dad or no, anything? No, my mom made sure we moved all the furniture first. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Let's talk about this year's team. Yep. It's kind of a funny mix because you and Peyton are back, ton of experience, mm-hmm. and you've got all this youth behind you. Yeah. There's, a, there's a big gap in experience. What's it like working with guys who are so so young, so green right. experience-wise? Uh, it's cool. It's, it's good for Peyton and I because uh, you know walking them through that stuff and kind of teaching them, is a good way for us to, you know, reassure our um, our certainty within the defense and um, kind of just rehash what we already know and, and just re- keep going over it. How much are you aware of who's on the D line in front of you, and how much they might need to know also in right. shifting them around? Yeah, we got to know a lot, um, especially we're working some young D linemen in too during practice. So uh, we got to know what what they're going to have to do in front of us and how we're going to have to fit off of them in the defense. What about the guys behind you? Because a lot of the communication was with Shalom last year. Mm-hmm. And the speed of that communication has a lot to do with success. Right. From, from right before that snap, you've only got a couple moments. They mm-hmm. switch personnel, then you're ready to go. Mm-hmm. How's that been this year, and how different is it now with Hunter or Kirkland or whoever might be playing nickel? Yeah. Uh, it's good. It's, it's been good. Um, and then we got, you know, behind me, I'm getting most of the calls from Rob Taylor. Okay. So uh, he's going into second year with everything, obviously, and uh, he's doing a great job and um, really taking control of the, the secondary, I'd say, from that standpoint. And Jalen as well, um, he's getting more of the calls to the strong side. So. Did you have a favorite play last year? I have one when it was the pick at Stanford Mm -hmm. where you laid out Mm -hmm. full extension. Was there a moment? Because a lot of the times when I ask you guys this, for you it's not something that shows up in the box score. You know, it's something where you you stood a guy up so somebody else can make a tackle Mm -hmm. or something like that. Was there a moment where you felt like, I'm a linebacker, this is my spot, and now I'm I'm ready to roll here? Um, I'd say my favorite, I I love that play, obviously. uh, it was a great job by the D-line getting pressure up there and um, me just being able to make a play on the ball. But I'd say my play was uh, tracking down that Arizona quarterback from behind and uh-huh. poking the ball out. Um, just thought it was a, a cool play, and uh, I was able to kind of come from all the way on the other side and, and make a play in, a, in the red zone for my team. Well, here's more to them. Cheers to that. H- how about the way camps evolved so far to this point? Do you guys feel like can, can you tell when you've got your act together compared to where you were same time last year? Yeah, Something? absolutely. Absolutely. The, the seniority that we have on the team and uh, just the amount of veterans we have out there working together. And uh, there's just a, an urgency about what we're doing. And uh, the faster we can play, the faster we can get those communications out like you were talking, the faster we're going to be able to play and the quicker downhill we'll be able to play and, and get in the backfield.